three best vitamins for mental health first is going to be on my list vitamin b12 vitamin b12 is very very crucial if you want neurons to function well if you want your neurons to pass signal from one to another if you want brain functioning well vitamin b12 is very very crucial but i am surprised to see how many people are deficit or are having lower range of vitamin b12 if you want your neurons your nerves to be healthy if you want myelin sheath that is above neurons to be healthy so that your nerves are healthy you are not in pain you are not feeling that tingling sensation in your body or that uncomfort in your body you have to have good level of vitamin b12 and if you will buy vitamin b12 always read the label always buy methylcobalamin don't buy cyanocobalamin cyanocobalamin is not good type of vitamin b12 it's not so good absorbed by the body and it is made from cyanide even if they say that okay it's in very less quantity anyways i don't want to put cyanide in my body or in the body of my patients or the people i know that's why i'm telling you also always read the label and always buy methylcobalamin not cyanocobalamin if you are interested to know about what are the natural stuff from where you can get vitamin b12 i have a whole dedicated video upon vitamin b12 if you are interested i'll put the link down below in the description box you can have a look over here just make it clear if you want your brain to function well you want to be mentally fit healthy throughout your life you have to have good level of vitamin b12 second i will name two herbs over here first is ashwagandha ashwagandha is one of the best herb for mental health ashwagandha botanical name vithania somnifera is one of the best herb for nerves and for mental health now i have seen on internet people say oh it's bad for your liver it can damage your liver tell me one thing in this world that will not damage your liver if taken more than needed if you'll drink lots of water that can also damage your body if you'll eat lots of broccoli that's also going to damage your body same with ashwagandha also how much ashwagandha to take how much is safe one teaspoon at night before sleep you can mix in water or milk as you are comfortable and you can drink it this is the most safe dose and it is effective also if you talk about the tablets tablets one or two tablets two times in a day you can take them tablets have very less amount of ashwagandha in them that's why i always prefer use of powders and for how long to take two to three months not more then there should be a gap of at least one month or one and a half month and then you can repeat again but not more than one or two months so ashwagandha works but if if someone is afraid of ashwagandha or doesn't like the taste or thinks that ashwagandha decreases or increases the blood pressure so those people can go for brahmi ayurveda says is an awesome herb to be used for any of the positive effect that you want on your mental health for neuron health for good blood circulation giving antioxidants to the body you name it and all these functions are of brahmi brahmi can be taken for long for six months eight months without any gap brahmi keeps your gut healthy plus it improves your sleep also it improves your mood also so brahmi is an awesome alternative of ashwagandha how to use one teaspoon two times in a day empty stomach you can use brahmi powder don't mix it with milk you can just take it with water tablets two tablets two times in a day empty stomach yes you can drink them with water so this is how brahmi should be taken now the third one third vitamin is vitamin d yes why vitamin d because lower levels of vitamin d3 are directly associated with anxiety depression mood swings and many times in all these conditions just giving vitamin d3 helps or yes for sure sun exposure will be much better than giving vitamin d3 in the tablets form so check your levels of vitamin d3 and they should not be just normal they should be good
even to the patients of Parkinsonism, Alzheimer's, vitamin D3 is given because vitamin D3 plays a crucial role in treating these diseases. So if you want to be mentally healthy, you should be having good levels of vitamin D3. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in next video with a big smile. Up to the time, smile more, stay happy, stay healthy.